Having come from private industry, I think what I learned really early on was that it's not individuals that deliver great outcomes, it's teams that deliver great outcomes. And I've been really fortunate to be able to assemble an absolutely fantastic team that has come with us on this journey to deliver this new product. Professor Peter Murphy and his team have translated innovative thin film technology into the world's first lightweight plastic automotive mirror. Highly reflective, distortion free, shatterproof, resistant to abrasion, vibration and extremes of temperature variation. It is a robust alternative to glass-based external car mirrors. The plastic mirror also improves driving efficiency, contributes to a reduction in greenhouse gas emissions and will not shatter in a collision, lowering driver and passenger risk of eye and face damage. And if you look at your traditional glass mirror, uh, the reflective layer on your glass mirror sits behind the layer of glass. What we've done with the plastic mirror is transform the optics of the mirror and actually put the reflective layer onto the front surface of the mirror. These series of layers we put down are, are nanometers thick and the beauty of what we get here is a performance level that is not matched by anything else in the world. Resulting from a collaborative partnership with the University of South Australia and SMR Automotive and supported by the Automotive Australia 2020 CRC, Murphy has provided research leadership across the Plastic Mirrors project. This injection compression moulded unit, coated with multiple layers of nano-engineered thin film materials, imparts properties such as reflectivity, water repellency, corrosion resistance and scratch resistance. Since 2012, more than 1.5 million plastic mirror units have been manufactured at SMR's South Australian facility and exported to Ford USA. SMR supplies approximately 20% of the world's external rear view mirrors, with a total export sales value to date at around US $162 million. For me, Peter embodies innovation because he can see how we can take knowledge and turn it into a new way of doing things. Even a simple thing like an automotive mirror now is lighter and safer as a result. The success of the plastic mirror has meant a huge amount for SMR and particularly the employees there in an environment where automotive is seen as a, a dying industry. It gives people um, faith that we've got opportunities beyond the local market. We can export and we can produce innovative products in Australia that are viable around the world. The bit that I love, I think, is the translation of the research and I'm looking for how can we translate things, how can we turn them into real world outcomes that create, I guess, social value and commercial value. Murphy's leadership throughout the project transcended barriers that often exist between research and industry. Fundamental to its success was a research industry immersive training program initiated by Murphy, where personnel from UniSA and SMR were embedded within their partner organisations to ensure full understanding of all the processes required for continued innovative success. In order to recognise how critical it is to have people like Peter who are so industry focused, we introduced a new role of industry professors and Peter Murphy is one of our first. I think one of the great opportunities for the universities in Australia over the next few years is to engage even more deeply with industry than they have in the past. Murphy's Plastic Mirrors project continues to feature in South Australian government publications and he has been showcased by the Society of Automotive Engineers. His Plastic Mirrors project remains a shining example of how successful industry research collaboration can achieve outstanding commercial success, driving innovation and economic growth for Australia. I think what we're going to see is younger academics aspiring, hopefully, to progressing a pathway, a career pathway, that focuses on industry engagement. And that's something quite different to anything that we've really seen in recent time. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome to the stage this year's Clunies Ross Innovation Award winner, Professor Peter Murphy.